How's it going, guys? Women, welcome to my first live. It's q and A. Q&A. It's gonna bring everyone up to speed a little bit. If you know a little about me, what I've been doing these past couple years. So let's jump back a little bit. So right now I'm a filmmaker. I've started doing filmmaking in 2011 when I was in the military. I worked on suicide prevention programs, drinking and driving programs. And when I worked on those skits, there were skits for a program called CSAD. CSAD is the Call Destructive Decisions. Pretty much those skits will, will be presented during safety stand downs. They will help the sailors, you know, not get in trouble on the weekends, look out for their buddies and, you know, just be a team player and look out for each other. Um, and with that, that pretty much gave me a spark to do filmmaking. So right before it was time for me to re-enlist, I decided to not re-enlist and take the route to do some filmmaking. So fast forward 10 years later, here we are. And during those 10 years, just want to let you know, it's, it's, it's been a journey. So right now, this while I'm doing the first live, give you guys an update on what's been going on. So when I got out, I jumped into City College. I took a bunch of courses. I took a screenwriting course, a lighting course, a TV production course, editing course, um, got some acting tips, learn how to create characters, learn how to get the color correction, learn pretty much all the different areas so I can find what best fits me. And as I've been doing that, I've been discovering what I'm good at, what I'm not good at, working on projects. I've been fortunate enough to be able to work on a short film. I worked on a feature film and those projects uh, did well. The short film did well in the 48 hour film festival and the feature film had the uh, we had our premiere about a couple years ago. This was someone else's project that I worked on that I got experience from, which I am so grateful for because that experience gave me the tools that I needed to start my own projects. And with that, I want to give a huge shout out to Professor Sai. When I attended City College, I wasn't as confident in myself, you know, making films, writing scripts, talking to people, getting actors to make something work. I took a production class with Professor Sai and he gave us the breakdown on how to put a project together, what pieces to use, what tools to make it work. And learning from him, I was able to gather all those resources. And not only did I pass this class, the short film that I made it went on to win several awards. It won the Spirit of San Diego Award in 2016. Uh, we picked up a California Film Award. We picked up a North American Film Award. The film traveled to New York. We was able to pick up the best student film at the World Film Fair. And that experience is just, it, it, it did so much for me that now I wanna just make film. like all the time so that's been kind of where i've been at the last two three years um you know try to maintain employment and work on a film it's not easy you know especially when you have to like start from scratch to make a project it's a collaborative you know decision you need a committed group of people and it takes time to find those right people through trial and error i found good people so right now, I'm currently working on a project. It's an animation. It's called Pen and Pencil. If you've been following me for my screenplay, the screenplay started in 2016. Um, pretty much it's taking you through the school course of two students, Peter and Samantha, and they're finding themselves through school. So four years from 2016, 2020, graduation pen and pencil graduation so last year was the fourth screenplay for pen and pencil and the four screenplays individually won their own individual awards 
throughout the U.S. In Portland, uh, I got to travel to Texas for the first time. I went to Houston and Austin. Great out there. I love Texas. Um, so now, what's next for the screenplay? Screenplay, we have to make it an animation. So I found an animator, and we're working on getting the animation together. And that is on the rise for you guys. So with that, we have this screenplay is going to be turned into an animation. The short film, it did well. And right now, the business, I have a business. It's called Innovate Studios. It's my name spelled backwards. We are a production company. We're also a photography studio. We create high quality content and videos for musicians, filmmakers, any independent artists. Pretty much let us be your bridge to your success. Any ideas you have, you bring it to our table. We'll get our team together and we'll meet you halfway and we'll take your project where it needs to go. And so this is about coming up on about six minutes. I thought it would be a little bit longer than that. But yeah, that's just the gist of what's been going on the last 10 years, my experience so far. We have a lot more to come. We're working on partnerships right now. Um, we're still expanding. Right now, we're going back and forth between San Diego and Denver, Colorado with film projects. Um, if you're in either or state and you want to work on something, just shoot me a text or shoot me a DM. Let me know. Um, we have people wanting to work with you. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll get an answer to you. All right. So I'll see you guys the next time. Um, yeah. Peace.